Welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Salami versus Lucifron casted game. This time, Lucifron's going to be spawning up here in the north, in the color yellow, playing as the English. He's on the lame sieve. He's on the, the wooly sieve. Oh, Lucifron doesn't actually like wolves that much, so... Kind of an interesting choice going for English here, but, you know, there, there are other ways to play English apart from the, the campy sort of playstyle that we're, we're typically used to seeing these days. But Lucifron is going to be up against Salami today. Spawning down in the south in the color green, and he's going to be playing as the Ottomans. So, typically a matchup I tend to favor the English with, and it's mainly because the Ottomans can't open up with a military school. So... I mean, it, there's actually two reasons you don't want to open up with a military school. One, it's uh, basically you open yourself up to the opportunity that the English could men at arm rush you. Because if you open up with the military school, you don't give your enough sight, you don't give yourself enough time to uh, gather the gold. So that basically means men at arms will arrive before you gather the gold, and then y yeah, you you kind of do yourself right there. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that. If you do get out some spears with your military school, it's impossible to actually harass the English because the English have bows for some reason. Who thought that was a good idea? But anyway, yeah, so the English have bows. They also have a, you know, double arrows coming from their capital town center. So it's really, really difficult to get any sort of harassment through from your spear without, you know, it dying. So that's typically why it's a kind of a difficult matchup for the Ottomans, but I mean, you know, we've seen some pretty crazy stuff from Salami, so I'm sure he'll have something up his sleeve. But we see here, he's going to be aging up very, very soon, just going for like a, a straight fuel age here, which is not something that we see that often here with the Ottomans, but that's what he's going to be going for today. Let's to see what he looks to go into. Maybe a second town center, something we've been seeing a little bit of. But wait a second, Salami, what is this? What is this? I I don't I don't recognize this. This is this isn't the twin minaret madressa. What? Is he looking to go into trade? Up against Lucifron, world number two in the world. What? That's really crazy. I mean, it's a difficult trade line. Maybe he's just looking to use this as like. A garrisoned thing. So, like, you put your traders inside and you get the little gold income. Ha! Huh. Interesting. We haven't seen this in such a long time, honestly. The last time I saw this landmark must have been, like, I don't know, six months ago or something. Because it's been so long. Lucifron, on the other hand, going to be going with a council hall. No surprises there. Abbey of Kings is still the Abbey of Memes, so... Lucifron looking to just play it standard here. It's a little bit forward here with the council hall. Not something that we typically see. Usually we see it a little bit closer towards the base. But I mean, Lucifron can do Lucifron, so that's that's fine. But honestly, this is something I've not seen in a long, long time. And we're going to see what Salami's plan is here with this. So you get the two traders immediately. Is he going to look to ungarrison them and then send them over to the trade post? This is something that I used to speculate. Is it worth just like getting out one trade from the trade post and then just garrisoning them inside? Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Just going to be keeping them inside the, uh, the Sultani trade network. I guess it's kind of hard to do that when you're up against English here with the long bows. Lucifron is probably going to spot this out and, and keep tabs on these trade posts. So... With these longbow coming towards the base, I, yeah, I, I definitely at this point it's too late to get the traders out. But it looks like Salami is going to be continuing the trade, or continuing making the traders. Wow! So he's actually going to be investing into traders for this landmark, and it, it's expensive. It's 120 resources here per trader. How many? Uh, how much do you actually get for it? it? Looks like it's around 30 gold per trader per minute. So it takes what four minutes to pay off for a trader. It's not bad, you know, but certainly, uh, certainly not what we're used to seeing. Lucifron comes in now with the two long boat. Looking to try and pick up a villager here. Lamy trying to get up his blacksmith. Going to be committing, committing the one villager to it. 
That might be a dead vault. Yeah, that's going to be a dead vault. Oh, manages to get away on 2 HP. And manages to take out a longbow right there. Pretty huge for Salami right there. They want to get up a, an outpost or something on this woodland because Lucifron is going to look to be an absolute pain here. Salami manages to keep alive all of his villagers. We've got more traders coming through. In fact, we've got... He's just going to be maxing out the Sultani trade network here with all six traders. Wow. Blacksmith was also down here for Salami. So my thought process was that he would be looking to now add in production, but maybe not. He's also got some, uh, some stone in the bank. He did look to mine a little bit of it. He's got 200. Well, he's mined, uh, he's mined 150. Started off with the 50 as well, so. Maybe looking to add in military skills at some point. I'm not exactly sure what the plan is for him here. Loose front. Almost losing. He does, in fact, lose the scout. What was that range? That was absolutely crazy there. Let's have a look and see what Vizier Salami looks to go for here. I'm really interested in this build. I mean, this is something that we've not seen in a, in a long, long time. So I'm, I'm going to be mainly focusing on Salami here because... I mean, you know, English. English are doing English. Military school going to get dropped down there. He's in the radius of the uh, the blacksmith. At least it should be. We should see the little the little plus on there. Once it gets built. Looks kind of far away, but yeah, it, it is in radius. Looks like Salami. Back on the woodline once again. But I mean, just, just doesn't have a lot of vision. He's got the scout over here, so... Looks like it's going to be all right for the time being. But is the plan here Fast Castle? I think it is. He's so heavy on the food here. And he doesn't even need access to the gold because he's got the Sultani Trade Network. Oh, th this is actually pretty huge. This is this is really, really smart. I, I feel like if Lucifer put a little bit more pressure onto the wood line, though, things could change. See Lucifron trying to find as many villager kills here as possible. He's able to two-shot these villagers, so Salami needs to be super, super careful here. Hasn't lost a villager so far. We see he's up by, uh, by some economy right now, as those traders are included here. Back in the base for Lucifron. He's starting to make some spears. Not bringing them down, though. I mean, Salami doesn't have down any production apart from the military school, which is finally going to be getting out a Spahi in 40 seconds. Longbowman mass really starting to grow now for Lucifer. He's up to 12. Nine of them here on the front line. Are the other two guarding this gold mine? So I'm wondering if uh, if if Luce from right now is thinking that a castle age could be possible. Because I certainly wouldn't be thinking it's possible. I mean, you're guarding this gold mine. Only 400 has been taken off. But this changes everything. Now we've got the Mephead Imperial Armory coming through. Salami. He's going to be rushing the Sage up. 13 villagers on the landmark. 14 villagers on the ma on the landmark. First spy, he comes out. Jumping inside the TC. Lucifron trying to get in some good range here. Almost picking off a villager. Magti might have done. No, no. He's still alive. Somehow. Man, the, the range on Longbow is crazy. I just think it, it shouldn't be possible to get in range of, of villagers like this. It's just such a pain there. Salami doing a good job though with his micro. Able to slowly but surely get this age up through. Spahi are also on the way. One does sit inside the, the um, town center. Now upgrades out on the blacksmith. Maybe Iron Under Mesh could be a, a possibility here for Salami. I like that's something you probably want to grab. Maybe even textiles. Ram going to be coming through from Lucifron. He's looking to commit to H2 here. Lucifron. Interesting decision. We see more and more units are on the way. We've got still a spearman sitting back in the barracks. Danmark gets constructed. Manganel, 2 minutes 15 seconds away. This is why Salami wanted this blacksmith up, and he is grabbing an under mesh at this point in time. Stable also going to get dropped down. Salami looking to add in lances, I'd expect. Let's have a look. Nothing coming through yet. Maybe it's going to be for the Spahi upgrade, possibly? I'd be kind of surprised though if that is the case. I would have thought it would have been Lancers, but yeah, there we go. Lancers is coming through now. 
Salami still does need to be careful here with his villagers, though. Longbow. And be very, very sneaky. First military school going to be going down. Salami just going to be throwing spy heat into spears right here. Not paying attention whatsoever. That feels bad right there. Salami can't be throwing away units like this. It's going to be able to get a mangonel out relatively soon. I feel like if you're Salami at this point in time, I, I, I don't think the stable is the right call here. I feel like a... Uh, a barracks would have been the, the better call and just try to go into some men at arms maybe even just maybe even just spears but i, I feel like men at arms here would have been less gold heavy and then you've also got then the mangonel to deal with the archers because salami's cool at the moment is that the you know the cavalry to deal with the with the long run but you've got the mangonel to do that so i'm thinking maybe the barracks could be a better call here uh you're, you're less like, you're, you're less worrying about the gold because Lucifer at the moment isn't actually pressuring the gold whatsoever, which I'm kind of surprised about. He's dropping a tower on the left-hand side here. Barrax is going to get taken out. It's going to reduce the time on this mangonel by quite a quite a significant amount. There we go. That's not actually as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest. But Looks like Lucifer's macroing towards an age up of his own. We see they're moving some builds over from wood to the gold. More units coming through, though, for Lucifron. Still pumping these guys down. Has a huge mass of longbow. More cavalry coming through. And there we go. Metadarm's finally going to be coming through here from Salami. Has the military school there set to the Metadarm's. New blacksmith comes down. Manganel going to be able to get a pop-off here. It's going to be coming through right on the front line. If he gets it, Lucifron's moving forward. This could be huge for Salami. Manganel pop coming out. Lucifron's not paying attention. A huge shot. Lucifron somehow manages to dodge most of it, though. Looks like it would be a pretty juicy shot. But Lucifron able to dodge most of the uh, most of the rocks to the face. So it does look like Lucifron is catching up when it when it comes to the villager count or the economic count. As Slime uh, does have the six traders setting inside of here. Anganel, where is it going? Slime, you need to be careful, my friend. Looks like Salami is going to be moving out now towards the deer pack. Still has very limited production right here. Has the two imams out. Going to be using a vizier on, on these two. Looking to now pick up the relics. Another mangonel going to be coming through. Spearman. Ghost front now coming through with the age up. King's Palace going to be placed in the wood line here. Loose from really trying to extend his lead when it comes to his work account. I'm thinking, could it could it have been possible for Lucifer to go for like a, a forward white tower, maybe like here? Probably probably not because of the mangonels, but I mean you you do have a quite a big mass here. But Lucifer under a little bit of pressure here. You see Salami taking the villager lead once again. Villager's getting caught off guard here. Ring around the Rosies, more like ring around the council hall. Outpost are also going to get taken down. Relics are coming in now, though, for Salami. Mosque is down. Outpost looking to get taken out here by the Manganel. More cavalry coming through. We see those knights still in the base of Lucifron. Able to get some good kills in. Salami up by 5. 25 villagers idle here for Lucifron. And Salami. He's looking in a good position. Still has that first man going to out. Second one going to be coming through as well. And has a pretty huge mass of knights. He's up to 6. Also has some decent men at arms. And he's going to be bringing in the relics. Lots of idle time coming though from Salami. 16 bills. 18 bills. For some reason, only says 16 idols up here. I'm not exactly sure why that is. The Salami going to be committing here with the Lancers. Metal Arms also going to be committing in as the Manganels approach forward. First shot coming in. That, that was just nowhere near. Those, uh, they literally shot where no unit went. <laughs> Sometimes these Manganels, they, they do shoot in some random places. Nice shots to the spearman. 
Battle Arms doing a good job there, just tanking the spears. Lance is now going to be able to commit onto the Longbow. Longbow yet to have their veterancy upgrades through. In fact, neither the Spear or the Longbow have veterancy upgrades through. What is this front's plan here? Just, just doesn't have anything. He's, he's looking to create more Spears and more Longbow, but just not grabbing the upgrades. Now finally going to be grabbing his veterancy Longbow. But he's just lost such a huge amount of his army right there. Manganel's going to be creeping forwards as well. More Spears coming through. This is a fight Salami can, can commit to. He's also got his plus two range defense. So, I mean, yeah, these Longbow really just do no damage. They're going to be doing a little bit more now that they're in the veterancy state, but it's, yeah, it's still going to be rough here. Especially still no veterancy upgrade in on the Spears. These Lancers just so tanky. Manganel's still making their way forward as well. Salami will need to be careful about this, though. Doesn't have a huge amount of army here. If uh, Boostron looks to build up a massive spears we'll be able to just jump on top of this and this is a lot of value right here you don't want to be losing salami calls in his next vizier it's going to be the meta actually this isn't a vizier he's made this how you can tell is uh it doesn't have the movement buff and villagers villagers for loose front oh they're being pulled few of them are going to be going down here we can see the damage this one lance is able to do to the workers just two hits them right here but I mean, yeah, they're going to be able to take out two Manganels here from Salami. That's going to be huge. And we've got reinforcements coming in. Crossbows here, able to take out these, these knights and men at arms. It's a pretty good trade there for Luz Front. Did lose quite a few villagers, but honestly worth it for two Manganels. It slows down the Ottoman player so much. Slimey also did pull a relic here to try and get off a, a cheeky Wallolo. We're just going to be retreating back with it. Looks like Salami still looking to go heavy into cavalry here. Lances are slowly getting picked off for him though. This front looking in a in a not bad position. It was looking pretty rough for him earlier on. Looks like he's recovered a little bit now. Wolves gonna be coming up for him. Looking to slowly creep ahead of the villager count once again. As He's only hit by two for the time being, and he's been on the King's Palace for quite a while. He's making his farm transition. As Salami, he's yet to, to think about that. Still does have access to some deers. Also has more deer on the left-hand side as well as some berries. And this is a, a little bit of a problem with going for the Sultani trade network. You don't have access to the... You don't have access to the Twin Minaret Madrasa. Delays your farm transition by quite a bit, which is always nice. But I mean, still a lot of gold that this thing is producing, right? Also, Salami's managed to secure himself up. Four relics. Fifth one. Going to be guarded by Lucifron. But it looks like Salami is looking to pick this one up as well. No veteran seal upgrade through from Lucifron on these spears. So he should be able to take this one relatively easy. He's got the meta in here as well. As it's set to range defense drums, now it switches it over to attack drums. So yeah, going to be a nice fight for him right there. Another Manganel is out for Salami. Both one about to come through from the from the Mehmed. Salami's going to be feeling pretty happy about this. Once again, secures up all five relics this game. If you guys didn't catch the last game on the channel, I highly recommend you you check it out. As uh, Salami was able to secure up all five relics. I won't spoil what happens next, but what happens next is, is pretty crazy. So check that game out after this one. But for the time being, Lucifron, he looks very happy in the base. He's got down a monastery, but unfortunately for him, this relic... In saying that, Salami hasn't sent out an imam yet, so maybe Lucifron does pick that up. But I mean, he could very, very easily pick this one up right now. I'm not sure where his imams are at for the time being, but he's got two somewhere. Oh, there we go. Finally going to be sending that one out. And Lucifron playing this the way most English players like to play it. Sitting in the base, doing a little bit of booming, doing a little bit of farming. You know how it is. Massing up the, uh, massing up the longbow. The spearman. Still no veterancy upgrade in, by the way. There we go. Finally going to be grabbing it. As well as the metal bombs. 
I gotta say, I think the English man at arms look look like one of the best man at arms in the game. Got to be close between the uh, the Abbasid and the English, and maybe the Holy Roman Empire. In fact, you know most most unit skins in this game look pretty cool. Age of Empires 4 does a great job with units, I think. Another vizier comes in for salami. I, I can't wait for the day that the Observer UI has uh, viziers and bounty and and whatnot on the, on the screen. That'll that'll be a great day, but for some reason I doubt we'll ever get it. But we can always hope. We can always hope. But for the time being, salami still looking to mass up very heavy when it comes to the the lancers. Also going so heavy on the uh, yeah arches is an interesting one here. Double mangonel. Did have a third one out. Yeah, third one going to be coming out very shortly. Bunny kept the other two alive as well. He could be up to five right now. And Lucifer, interestingly, is finally going to be creating some springholds, but feels a little bit late here. Salami looks like he's going to be moving out. Very very heavy on the archers. Double meta as well. No movement speed, but is going to be able to give the attack speed. Another Manganel out. Doesn't have full upgrades, but Salami's got the majority of them. Just missing the insulated helm and decarbonization. Whereas Lucifer, he's missing a lot more of the upgrades. In fact, doesn't have any plus uh, plus melee attack or plus uh, melee defense. Just has the ranged defense and ranged attack, which, I mean, for the English, that's, that's the most important one for you for your longbow. But in saying that, Lucifer's army... It's primarily men at arms and spears right here. But he's going to be able to defend pretty well up against the archers. But Manganel's coming through. Springled. Going to be making his way forward. Is he going to be able to deal with all of these lances though? Salami just overwhelming his opponent right here. Spearman just getting absolutely slaughtered by the archers here. Metas have been sniped out by Lucifer though. Springled on the back line. Able to take out. Looks like the first Manganel will be going down. Sprungle gets taken out though. One Manganel still remains on the field. I think we've got a, a, another one coming through shortly as well. Not sure where the other one's at. Must, might, might, may have been taken out, but Salami in a great position right here. Archer Mass, mainly still alive. Manganel on the back line and still so many Lancers alive. You see here the Archer's going to be able to clean up all of those crossbow really, really quickly. Lucifron doesn't have any sort of archery range. He just has the, the council hall here. And that's going to be able to be Canton right here. Archer's going to be making their way through the base, trying to find as many villagers as they possibly can. Lucifron has his textiles through, but is it going to be enough? We see the damage coming through here from Lucifron. Or from Salami onto Lucifron. It's just huge. Manganel. Getting some... Oh, misses. Okay. It's... Okay, Salami just gonna be throwing away another Manganel, it seems. Into the uh into the villagers, but I mean the damage still being put on here is pretty huge. Salami managing to even up that villager count once again. He's up by five relics. He's also up by a sacred site here. Lucifron is finding it difficult to recover here. So many idle villagers. 29 idle villagers. He's just got everything idled right now, trying to just get the the, the town center arrow fire. Let's try and help him out here. It does look like he is going to be able to recover, but at what cost? The food income not looking too pretty right now. And Salami's just going to be able to remass. We see he's got more. He's got more metas. More crossbow. More archers. Crossbow is definitely the, the good call here. Going to be able to effectively deal with any more men at arms. I feel like that was a little bit of a problem for Salami. Then was relying a little bit too much on the lancers. See more villagers getting picked off. Salami now actually equal with Lucifer, despite being only on one town center this whole game. Not a position you want to be in as the English up against the Ottomans. Because the Ottomans, they've got a lot going for them right now. They've got four military schools, a Mehmed Imperial Armory. They've also got the, you know, the, the traders inside the Sultani trade network. And they've also got five relics in the bank. So definitely rough here for, for Lucifer. But if there's any player to, to have a mighty comeback, it's definitely the world number two in the world, Lucifron. It's going to be difficult. Salami now looking to add in the Rams. Rams going to be great here. Just to slowly chip away at the uh, the buildings here for Lucifron. Still the one Manganel alive. Salami just looking to mass everything up here. 
Still, the, uh, still the mom's just chilling about. I feel like you could probably bring these in with a, you know, bring these in with you. In fact, he's actually got two at the front here, so he's going to be looking to make use of them. But like Ottoman and Manila, uh, Ottoman and Mom's are always a great unit to have in the fight with you. They do have that, that passive area of effect healing. It's always something nice to have. This front now looking to add in more Springles. Definitely what he needed last time. I feel like if he had one more one more Springles, and he could have two-shot the... Uh, or, yeah, he could have one-shot the, the Manganels. I feel like they would have done a little bit better for him, but... I have to see how he looks to do this time. And Salami, he's got Siege Cruise through. He used a, a busy air point on this upgrade. So going to be just sticking a unit inside. Going to be giving himself the extra attack speed right there. Lucifer front. He's got a huge amount of metal arms and spearmen. I love this composition, by the way. I love how he has an equal amount of metal arms to spears. Definitely uh, works pretty effectively. We also see Salami. He's got a few Janissaries in here. Not really a unit that's needed up against the English as much. I mean, at the moment, English don't have a single cavalry unit on the field. So, kind of an interesting one there from Salami. But I think he just wants the military mass. So it definitely does make sense in, in that case. He's going to be moving forward now with the rounds. Slowly taking out all the production. Lucifron doesn't have a lot of production behind this. He's built it all on the front line here. And as these barracks slowly get taken out. Manganel being left at home. While he takes out the Springles. With the Lancers. First one goes down. Second one going to get, get taken out here. Lucifron does some cool micro there. Popping inside the King's Palace and popping them out the other side. But is it going to be enough for Salami with five rams on the front line here, taking out everything? This is the last barracks here for Lucifron. He doesn't have anything else. He's only got the, the Council Hall alive after this. It does look like Salami's mass is slowly being taken out, but he's got the reinforcements. Lucifron doesn't. Fenner's just having to be pulled now to try and take out the rams. see the villager count falling very very fast right there as salami just focuses down on the bills got the attack speed for as well so these bills are going to be going down super quickly we see even villager count once again and the amount of damage salami's managed to do here now brings in the mangonels and with that gg gets called wow what a game changing build here from salami able to take a win up against world number two in the world lucifron with this crazy sultani trade network build if you did enjoy this game, please do feel free to leave a like. Maybe even consider subscribing, because this was a crazy game. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.